This is YouTube's University's Automotive Locksmith course on Universal Key Systems, lesson number 10. And today we're gonna go over ZB Key DIY Remotes Explained. Let's get to it. So when should we use these? Well, let me tell you a little about them first. These Key DIY um, Universal ZB Series Remotes come in a little yellow bag. We should use this for exclusively for push start vehicles. This is the Nissan style I got. In Nissan Penny style. I'm kind of glad I did. This is the original key that we're going to add. And as you can see those little gaps. That's for the er, some earlier push starts. They go in a prox slot. And it's cool because the Autels don't have this. So it's kind of neat that KDOI saw that. And put you started using these. So I may, I may start to get these just for those 35s, 37s. Infinities and some other Nissans. But yeah, they're exclusive for starts. And you'll know that this is the original key. The OEM key has been recased. But this is OEM. And this is going to be back to market ZB series remotes. Anyway, let's get to it. So, how to generate? Well, first, we'll need the FCC ID. The FCC ID is written on here. I know it's gonna be hard to see because of the camera and all that stuff, but this is where I'm gonna find the FCC ID for this job specifically. Yeah. I know normally I use the auto smart books, but you know, it's just to give you a reminder that if you're adding a key and you don't know the FCC ID, you can just look it up. Usually it's on the key written somewhere. If it's an OEM. Make sure you have your CR2 battery, CR32 battery available. Okay, so now my little pry tool. There we go. Negative up. As you can see right there, it says right there. It's kind of interesting. I'm gonna open it up. I can't compare what the, what the OEM key looks like. But you don't have to do all this. Okay, so that's what the OEM key looks like. This is the ZB series remote. Oh, interesting. Good to know. Just curious. Now let's see if it's working. Nice. Okay, as you can see, there's a frequency. Awesome. Perfect. Now we're gonna generate. So you're gonna place the the ZB series remote like so. So remote function first, then smart key generate. There we go, scrolling down to G35 after I typed in the FCC ID. Generate. Just give it a minute. And we're done. So I'm gonna program a key. This is a working key to the infinity. This is the key to Y key that we're gonna program. Let's get to it. I'm gonna use a Tinder Pro for this case. 
I'm gonna turn on the ignition because we can for this case. Nice, the auto bin is kind of working. Turn on, turn on the emergency lights. And now open and close the door. Okay. Smart key, smart key learning. Okay, so I have a lucky present. I already did this. So turn off the ignition. So I'm gonna start with the OEM key. So I'm gonna insert into the Prox slot. It's in there. And turn on ignition. Okay. Now I'll remove it for a second. And the cluster turns off. Okay, I'm gonna insert it. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. You see that light? Well, it's just there. It turned off. That means the key successfully programmed because it went on five times. Okay. And I'm like, yes. So as you can see, the cluster's on, but I might remove it and it turned off. Cool. Okay, now the same thing, but this time for the KDI white key. You know, so. I'm gonna insert the key DIY key. Keep it. Keep an eye on that. There we go. And try it again. There we go. I guess I didn't insert, insert all the way. Perfect, five times. Okay. No, I think we're good. I'll just leave the key out I can. One, two, three. Turn on the ignition, okay. Gotcha. So, let's see. Well, let's see if the buttons for starting there. So there's the OEM, awesome. Nice. Okay, even the key to key. Perfect. Thanks for watching.